don't know if you guys can see that turtle or not. We're out hiking in the woods. We're in a spot that we normally don't go. We've been here before, but this one involves leaving the car and we got to walk a little ways so we don't come over here as much. But there is a nice big painted turtle there on the log. He's just sitting there. My lovely wife. So I've got some good things to show you and some bad things. We'll save the bad thing for last. We haven't found any onions yet. But this is what we're coming out here looking for. One of the things we're looking for. That's the egg case of a praying mantis. And we got several of them. They weren't as easy to find this year as they've been in the past. But and we got four of them there. And a freaking million of them things come out of there, so if they if they're from this year and they hatch in the yard, we're gonna get you know, we'll have some praying mantises back there. And then this is very interesting. We saw a couple of giant birds. We just got lucky and stumbled on them. And we went over to where they had been sitting, and we first we found a bunch of bird shit. But then we found these. The camera ever focuses on that. It is a huge owl pellet. And I've never done it before. But I guess we'll take them back to the house, let them dry out a little bit. And we'll pick through them and, and find the bones. There was tons of them over there. Bone sticking out right there. Yeah. yeah there is. There's like a leg bone of femur sticking out right there. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got three or four of them in there. Uh... These fucking birds were big. These owls were big. They uh, may have even been great horned. I don't. I don't know. But we're continuing our search for onions and such. And this is what we stumble onto. Some idiot has left a live trap right here. And there is a, what did I call this thing? It's not a beaver. It's a, uh, Jesus, having a senior moment here. It's, the hell is it? <laughs> Anyways, it's in there dead. They just left the goddamn thing. And there's how it dies. With its teeth trying to chew its way out of there. You know, it froze to death or it starved to death or something. And that's... Oh, and they used... Uh, they used sardines for bait, which is a traditional thing for... Uh, like raccoons and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do is walk out on this log and we're going to throw this live trap in the water so that nobody can ever use it again. You want to hold the camera, honey? Yeah. Pretty nice live trap. I wasn't a mile from the car. I might carry this thing back and hit it. <laughs> muskrat. Muskrat. Sorry, muskrat. I don't even think the turtles would be able to get them. They can't get in that trap. Eh, not, a, not a nice way to die. Just get left in a cage to starve or freeze. So, the whole idea of a live trap, they, they don't seem to understand. 
why you would need a live trap in the middle of the woods is beyond me. I don't know, I mean, if you want to catch stuff, people do trap. Well, this is where you bring it. This yeah. isn't where you catch it. Yeah. You don't trap in the middle of the city where things are struggling. I don't know. You don't fucking trap at all, really. We go to the grocery store nowadays. So, that's it. We are going to find onions. <laughs>